Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we tackle the problem when you want to find your iPhone on the Find My app, but you don't have your iPhone, obviously, so you need to use someone else's. Let's say someone that you know or even a stranger. How do you use someone else's iPhone to find your lost one? Of course, to get started, I need to say that you need to have the Find My option and iCloud. All the stuff has to be enabled on the iPhone that got lost. Okay, but to find a lost iPhone using another iPhone, you have to go to a website. So you're going to open up Safari or go to Google Chrome, whatever the other iPhone has available. And what you have to do is to simply go to iCloud.com. This is the place where you can find all the things that you need. So you're going to go iCloud.com. Make sure you click on the link right here. And what you have to do is to log in with your Apple ID, which is linked to that device which got old. You naturally should have access to it, no problem. I'm gonna sign in. It lets me sign in with my uh, Face ID, but you don't really wanna do that because this is using this device's Apple ID. You wanna use Apple ID of that lost iPhone, so you're gonna choose use a different Apple ID. I mean, in my case, it doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna just continue with this one. You can see that's how it gets you logged in. Okay, but so that means that you're gonna get to this section and this is your iCloud, but it's on someone else's device. But still you have access to all the services and things that you need. So you have iCloud Mail, but if you scroll down, you can see a bunch of different apps. So you have Mail, Photos, Drive, Notes, Reminders, and Find My as well. So Find My is one of the apps within this. So go ahead and click on it naturally iCloud find the devices. It uses a way to like know about it because of course it's not as intuitive as using the actual method. So I mean, of course using the app is actually a bit different and better, but this is what you have. You can move around the map. You can scroll through the list of your devices, tap on it, find it on a map. You can see that you can select the lost one. You can um, mark it as lost. You can do a bunch of different things with these, uh, with these devices. It works the same way as if you were using the Find My app on your own iPhone. It's just using someone else's and a website for it, but it's basically the same thing. Of course, if you suspect that your iPhone has been lost, you can always just click on that device and you have a bunch of options so you can play the sound in case you're looking for it. Or you can go to the lost mode, which basically makes the um, device not usable. You can go ahead and do that easily or you can erase the iPhone. So depending on what you decide, you have some options even from someone else's device. So that's really awesome. One thing I have to say at the end is that Whenever you just, uh, if it's someone else's iPhone, you of course want to log out of your iCloud account before handing the device back. In case someone just, um, you, you just borrowed the iPhone from someone else, used it to find your device, perhaps mark it as lost. Then you want to make sure that you log out of this account because you don't want anyone, else, anyone to have access to your iCloud account. So just remember to do that and you'll be fine. Anyways, that's about it. I hope the video helped you out. For more content and videos like this one, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can also leave a thumbs up on it and leave a comment saying something. So go ahead and do that. And also, that's about it. See you guys later. Peace out.